I'm Anil Kumar and in this particular video I'm going to explore Pascal's triangle related with combinations and based on this learning we'll have a couple of multiple choice questions in this particular playlist. I hope it will really help you to understand the topic. The kind of triangle we have made here is called the Pascal's triangle. Every term here can be very easily generated. We normally write a term with uh, like T and R, T and R, where N is number of rows. So N is row number. And what is R? R is called the diagonal number very important it's called the diagonal number i'm writing like this okay so t and r specifies row number and the diagonal number you should also note that the value actually starts with zero so this is your row number zero so that one is row number zero right and this one is row number one and then this is row number two right so that is how the rows are so if you see a number five for example here then that should be what that is row number five okay so this is row five so you can actually read from here the row number right so this is like one row number one two three four five so that's easy to read row number now how do you find the diagonal numbers Diagonals are like this. These are your diagonals, right? So this is the value of uh, diagonals. So, so these are your diagonals. Diagonals also start with zero. So this one is diagonal number one. This one is diagonal number two. This one is diagonal number three, right? So that is how you get the values of diagonals. To read the values, of the diagonals uh, I mean uh, you could see from here right this number horizontally is it okay so that gives you the diagonal number kind of okay so 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 this value is so this is a very key number here so if you go like this you get the row numbers of course this is zero so let me write the first one as t zero zero is it okay so that becomes t zero zero and as you move down row numbers increase so this becomes t one and everything here is actually in the diagonal zero right so t one this is t two zero likewise correct so that is how you get your terms now how do you generate the terms in this particular pattern a very simple exercise when you start from the top just write as you go diagonally you can put ones and anything in between comes by the combination of previous two for example if i add four and six i get ten right so in general we do have a formula which just links that we say t and r plus t n r plus one is equal to next we are talking about the next row right so t n plus one r one plus one so that is how we can get the next term and this triangle is built now these are the properties which most of you know one more interesting property is what happens when we add the terms in a particular row so if i add this what do i get if I add 1 plus 1, what do I get? If I add 1, 2 and 1, what do I get? If I add 1, 3, 3 and 1, what do I get? So let me write down these numbers. If I add 1, I get 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. 1 plus 2 plus 1 is 4. 1 plus 3 plus 3 plus 1, 6 and 2, 4, 8, right? And similarly, we get the other terms. You will notice that these are 2 to the power of row number, 2 to the power of 0, 2 to the power of 1, 2 to the power of 2, 2 to the power of 3. So 
the sum of numbers in a particular row is 2 to the power of n. So you could write here 2 to the power of n is equals to sum of numbers in a row. Is that okay? So that is another formula which is very important to understand. Now we have seen what is sum of numbers in a row. How about sum of numbers in a diagonal? So how about sum of numbers in a diagonal? Can we relate that? So let's look into one of the diagonals. Okay, so I'm just selecting a pen. Okay, so we'll take this color and let's look into the second diagonal. This is zero at diagonal, first diagonal, that one is the second diagonal. So let's look into this diagonal. Okay. Now, what is 1 plus 3? 1 plus 3 is 4. Do you see that? 1 plus 3 is 4. 4 plus 6 is 10. You see that? 1 plus 3 plus 6 plus 10 should be 20. Do you get it? So what we are getting here is that if you add the terms in a diagonal, you get a term right there. Do you see that? So, so in this particular case, when we added the terms, let me show you what I'm trying to say here. This number here is T2, 2, right? This is the second row, 0, 1, 2, and the second diagonal. So what we noticed here is that T2, 2 plus the next one will be T3, 2 still, right? So diagonal is second. Diagonal is constant. So T3, 2 plus T4, 2, right? If we add four terms, 1, 2, 3, 4 plus T5, 2 is equal to that number. And what is that? That is T6, 3, perfect. So you could get additional, addition of all the numbers in the diagonal also from the Pascal's triangle, correct? So that is how it could be related. Now here is a neat thing about relating Pascal's triangle with combinations. Now when we are calling this as T63, we could replace this term number with combinations, right? We could write this as C63. Now, C63 could be written as like this, right? Some people write uh, like this, 6 and 3, anyway, right? Um, so I most of the time write like this. All are one and the same thing. Uh, this is the combination. Uh, what I'm trying to say here is that you can find the number directly using the combinations, right? 6C3. 6C3 really means 6 factorial divided by 3 factorial times 6 minus 3 factorial, correct? And that gives you the number 20, right? So you could get any term here by finding combinations, right? So you could use combinations to get the numbers directly instead of adding and then going about. So every term here which is TNR could be written as NCR. Is it okay? And where, what is NCR equals to? NCR is equals to N factorial divided by R factorial times N minus R factorial. Is it okay? N factorial means N times N minus 1 times N minus 2 and so on. Well, you can look into my videos on factorial to understand this in more details. Perfect. But anyway, in this video what we have learned that there is a strong correlation between Pascal's triangle and the combination. Every term here is equivalent to the combination NCR. So TNR is NCR. Now the same formula can be applied to get so that the sum of two terms before is equals to, if you add two terms, you get the term following, which is from the formula TNR plus TN R plus 1 equals to TN plus 1 R plus 1. We also learn that sum of numbers 
or sum of terms in a particular row is 2 to the power of n and if you want to add the diagonals they are also related some of the diagonals will be uh, like given here right so as from the Pascal's triangle you could also read the sum of diagonals as we have just shown here right so the sum of first five terms one two three four five terms in row number two will be 35 do you see that so that is how you can find sum of terms in the diagonal also as we move on we will see a few more properties of Pascal's triangle which will help us to solve many practical situations i'm anil kumar and i hope you understand and appreciate it feel free to post questions share my videos and subscribe to them thank you and all the best